Uh, hello, my vaguely European audience in the early afternoon Pacific time. Allow me to apply some lip balm to my chapid lips. I'm not from the EU. Oh, I'm sorry. My vaguely European audience, as well as people from the United Kingdom. We're going to be playing. Yo, I mean, for right now, you're probably like, why are you live? It's, I'm offended you're live earlier than usual. That's because we're doing some sponsored direct challenges in Magic the Gathering Arena. Now, I'm going to level with you. I'm only supposed to do it for three hours total over the course of this week. But I'm going to throw in basically an extra hour because I want to build my deck. I don't have a good deck capable of doing direct challenges right now. So, you know, if you're here early enough, guess what, you lucky so-and-sos? You can see that there is a PAX button. The PAX button is friggin' stacked. It's like half a booster box of every single set. It's 75 packs. We're going to get started. I'm going to level with you. I have absolutely no idea what cards are good in Dominaria, Rivers of Ixalan, or Ixalan itself, the terrestrial portion of Ixalan. We're going to open them up. We're going to figure out rivals. That's rivals. I'm going to level with you. For the last three months, I thought it was Rivers of Ixalan the entire time. Hello, Macros. Kate's going to be joining us for the direct challenges a little bit later, but first I got a constructed deck. Please, Magic the Gathering aficionados, help me figure out what I have going on in this deck when it comes to building something constructed playable, okay? Charnel Troll. I don't think it's that good, but it is an armored turtle. If this was draft, I would be like, I mean, okay, Fresh Faced Recruit is pretty good. For now, I'm not thrilled. We're just getting started, though. Oh my god, it's a planeswalker. <laughs> we got every available ability to play a blue-red it deck now. Is any it deck vaguely competitive? Give me some of the sponsored deal payout. Oh, it's a pain land. Give me some of the sponsored deal payout and I will help you. I'm sorry, I've already blown uh, my whole wad on digital packs to do the thing in the first place. Oh, it's any mythic rare we desire. Okay. It's pretty good stuff. Sorry, it's a shock land, not a pain land. That's my mistake. Narcomiba. When Narcomiba is put into your graveyard from your library, you may put it onto the battlefield. That seems highly trash. It is a jellyfish as well. Yo, it's another rare. No hide Ferox. I like the card because it makes a good sound. You can't cast non-creature spells. Is this even playable? I don't know anything about Constructed, straight up. I only know Limited. Bruh, this is top tier. Highly playable. I mean, it is a 4-mana 6-6. Six, six. That makes sense. And for 2-mana, you can cast any non-creature spell. Well, you can start to cast non-creature spells, is what I mean. If you discard it, put it onto the battlefield? Instead of putting it in your graveyard? I mean, that seems pretty interesting. Excuse me, I have a 7-win limited run in Magic the Gathering. So don't insult me and say that I don't know how to play limited. I know how to play limited, but only in this set. And only about one-third of the time. Plus, last bounty, we went like 3-0 and to start. Pretty sick, huh? 
Um, I don't know. Midnight Reaper is certainly limited pickable. Tajik, Legion's Edge. Yo, is this dude shiny enough? Three mana haste, mentor, prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control, and you can give it first strike as well. Hatchery Spider. I mean, Crackling Drake, I'm assuming that fits into Is It Drake's. Is that correct? Crackling Drake's power is equal to the total number of instant and sorcery cards you own in exile and in your graveyard. Okay, I understand. We Dragonauts, Steam Vents, yo. I love blue red. And the game is giving me a blue-red opportunity here. Experimental Frenzy. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. Ah, yeah, okay. So this is just a, a totally jacked up. I got this played against me in draft, and I wanted to flip over the table. Um, basically, you no longer can you play cards from your hand, but you can play whatever the top card of your library is. Either way, I mean, obviously, we're gonna... We're gonna look at it. Drowned Secrets. So that's if you want to build a mill deck. I don't think we're getting close to that yet. Gruesome Menagerie. Choose a creature card with converted mana cost 1 in your graveyard, then do the same for creature cards with converted mana cost 2 and 3. Um... I don't know. I have no idea what to feel about that. The Experimental Frenzy is potentially great, by the way, because it's unlimited draw. You know, if it, normally in Magic, you can sometimes reach a point where, like, both players have two cards in hand. The ability to just see a card, play it, and then be able to play another card immediately after. It, it's like a crazy engine. Destroy all creatures with converted mana cost three or less. Interesting. Seems very good against aggro. Mnemonic Betrayal. Exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards. You may cast those cards this turn, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast those spells. At the beginning of your next end step, if any of those cards remain X, okay, I have this seems not playable by somebody of my IQ, so thanks but no thanks. All right, Core Set 2019, almost said Core Surge 2019. Dark Dweller Oracle, if we're building into a mono red, this is a pretty playable card, I think. If it has six or more lines of text, it's good. <laughs> Scape Shift. Sacrifice any number of lands. Search your library for up to that many land cards. Put them onto the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library. Is this one of those cards that is only sensible in like a format that is not standard? Because this makes no sense in standard. Okay, this is a modern card. Fair enough. I don't even know if there's like a meme deck we can build with that out of these sets. Dude, exile target permanent with converted mana cost one? <laughs> exclusively anti-healer hawk technology right now or something. I have no idea what to do about that. Sigh, Master Thopterist. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a 1-1 one, one colorless stop their artifact creature with flying. Okay. I mean... Uh, how long ago did Kaladesh rotate out? Because I'm thinking that this guy doesn't have the... He doesn't have the tools anymore. Is Kaladesh like 100 years old? It's been a while. That was the last set I played standard, like, religiously in. 
Well, actually, it was the uh, Eldritch Moon, but I played a little Kaladesh. Sun Cleanser. Remove all counters from target creature. It can't have counters put on it for as long as Sun Cleanser remains on the battlefield. Or target opponent loses all counters. Okay, so this is like... I actually have no idea what that means. But a, a two-cost 1-4 with some extra upside, sure. I mean, I guess I could see that. Not super thrilled. Oh my god, it's Nickel Bolus the Risen and Nickel Bolus the Ravager. <laughs> Alright. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. And then for all of the mana you'll ever have, exile him, then return him transformed under his owner's control. And when you flip him, Oh my god. His ultimate is so hilarious. Exile all but the bottom card of target player's library. So if you ever get to cast the ultimate, which can only happen on like turn 16, they have to win on the next turn or they lose immediately. That's hilarious. Anyway, well I definitely want to play with that card, just because it's fun. Yeah, I guess you win when it flips over anyway. That makes sense. Thorn Lieutenant. Whenever Thorn Lieutenant becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, create a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token. I mean, limited-wise, you always love a 2-3 two, for 2, and then you can pump it, but I don't know. Green is like, I cast the creature. Who cares? Laugh. Lothless, the Dragon Queen. Whenever a non-token dragon enters the battlefield under your control, create a 5-5 five, five red dragon creature token with flying. Okay. Yas, Dragon Queen. Yas. I mean, I can see, I mean, basically, as of right now, I'm just shoving every dragon card together. That's my jank deck. Demon of Catastrophes. Four mana, six, six, but you have to sack a creature. Flying Trample? This seems, seems pretty good. Any rare we want. Any rare you want it. That's the way you need it. Open the graves. Okay. Creature dies, creates a zombie. I'm trying to go a little faster. We got a lot of packs. Isareth, the Awakener. Three mana, three, three, death touch. Ooh, wow. Every time you attack with spare mana, you can return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. I have no idea what a corpse counter is, but it seems kind of interesting. Mentor of the Meek. It's Mathis. Good draw engine, it seems like. Cleansing Nova. Oh, uh, what? Five mana destroy all creatures? It's a little, it's a little silly. And Goblin Thrash Master. Other goblins you control get plus one, plus one. Sacrifice a goblin to destroy. Target artifact. Eh, I don't know. All right, now I'll level with you. I don't know if I've ever opened a Dominaria pack before, so I'm really relying on you guys to help me out here. We did get a Goblin. I don't know why it looks like, uh, it's like Jebated Goblin. Squee the Immortal. You may cast Squee the Immortal from your graveyard or from exile. Alright, that's interesting. Being able to bring it back. Pretty much endlessly. That seems decent. Oh my god, it's Muldratha the Gravetide! During each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. This is rigged? I don't know, am I getting great opening? I actually have no idea. Yo, it's the Eldest Reborn, dude! It's a fantastic saga. 
Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Each opponent discards a card. Put a target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. And it's Morrowind the Nurturer. I gotta be honest with you. I see a... Uh, I see a one mana green card that's 1-1 one, one and has an essay for text. I sleep. I'll, I'll pass that around in the draft. Life's too short. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, red card single line. That's where I wake up. Any mythic you want. Open times 10, I refuse. Time of ice. Okay. It's another Squee the Immortal. <laughs> well, Goblin deck is looking pretty strong, boys. Oh, it's Joseph S, the Lich Knight. Oh, uh, if it was kicked for literally 10 mana, create 822 black zombie knight creature tokens with menace. <laughs> well, all right. We can find a way to get to 10 mana. Kicking is basically you pay an optional extra cost and then you get a, another effect out of it. It's Multani Yavamaya's avatar. It gets plus one, plus one for each land you ho control and each land card in your graveyard. I mean, that actually seems pretty decent. So it comes out, it's a minimum 6-6 six, six for 6. With reach and trample. And then you can cycle it back whenever you please. Well, for a cost, but still. Unless you get mana creatures. Ooh, this. Slow lands? I don't know what they're called. It's Naban, Dean of Iteration. If a wizard entering the battlefield under your control causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Gotta be honest, no idea. Absolutely no clue what you do, and as a result, you will not be placed in my deck. Okay. Okay. Dude, I'm never mad when I get uh, rare lands, because I'm like, at least I know what to do with them. Lich's Mastery. Hexproof, you can't lose the game. Well, that seems good. Whenever you gain life, draw that many cards. Whenever you lose life, for each one life you lost, exile a permanent you control or a card from your hand or graveyard. When Lich's Mastery leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. Okay. A bit scary. Grand Warlord Rada. What is this red-green landfall? Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, add that much mana in any combination of red or green. Until end of turn, you don't lose mana as steps and phases end. My lord. And of course, don't forget about Traxos, the Scourge of Krug. What? Oh, you have to be able... It's a 4 mana 7-7, seven, seven, but you have to cast a historic spell to untap it for the first time. I I don't even know what a historic spell is, so I'm a little afraid. Vona's Hunger. Ascend. If you control 10 or more permanents, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game. What? <laughs> Instead of each creature, each opponent sacrifices a creature. If you have the city's blessing, instead, each cre each opponent sacrifices half the creatures they control, round it up. Interesting. Dead man's chest, don't tell Austin. Oh, it's an essay enchantment. It's got a big, 
like red flag for me. Enchanted creature an opponent controls. When enchanted creature dies, exile cards equal to its power from the top of its owner's library. You may cast non-land cards from among them for as long as they remain exiled, and you may spend mana as though it were an mana of any type to cast those spells. Um, actually seems very frustrating to play against, which makes me very excited. It's Elenda, the Dusk Rose. Four mana, one one lifelink that gets more powerful when creatures die. This is a vampire, okay. When, that, when Alenda dies, create X one one white vampire creature tokens with lifelink where X is Alenda's power. I mean, that, you can see the upside there. Hilarious. Okay, we'll build a colorless land deck. Jade Light Ranger. Uh, I actually do like, like, Golgari, um, Golgari Explore. I mean, it's not called Golgari Explore. I forget what it's called. Golgari Midrange, but it uses Explore to get land ASAP. Uh, okay. I mean, that completely fits. We don't have the Planeswalkers we need. Full Golgari. For Golgari, I should say. But we do have, um... Some Mythics. We might be able to use on it. Tedzimok. Primal Death. Six mana, six, six, Death Touch. Put a Prey Counter on a token. Destroy each creature your opponents control with a prey counter on it. All right. <laughs> I don't know what to say. When form of the dinosaur enters the battlefield, your life total becomes 15. At the beginning of your upkeep, form of the dinosaur deals 15 damage to target creature and opponent controls, and that creature deals damage equal to its power to you. I don't know. That seems a little spooky. Okay. That seems terrible. But I could be wrong. Ravenous Chupacabra is extremely playable. Nazahal, Primal Tide. You have no maximum hand size. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, draw a card. Discard three cards, exile it, return it to the battlefield tapped at the beginning of the next end step. What on earth? <laughs> I don't know, man. We okay, thank you. We have a lot of blue cards that are essays. We could just play like an essay deck. But that's a little much for me. Two mana, one one. At the beginning of each upkeep, if you lost life, put a one one counter on it and then gain life equal to its toughness when it dies. Path of discovery, okay, so I mean there's a there's a unification there to some extent. World Shaper. Whenever World Shaper attacks, you may put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. When World Shaper dies, put all land cards from your graveyard onto the battlefield tapped. So, here's the problem. Kate's like, even if you open a thousand packs, you will never beat me. Yeah, I know. Um, that's because Kate is better at magic than I am, but she also has, like, top-tier standard decks in MTGA. So, really... Like, all I can do is at least, I want to build, like, a strong deck, but if I can also build, like, a meme deck, if I win a couple of times, I'll feel good about it. And then everybody feels good about it. Actually, you know, all I need to do is get, uh, if I get to play and flip Nicol Bolas once, I'll be a happy man. Sanctum Seeker, so it's a Vampire Enabler. 
Rat colony? Dude, I- oh, actually, I might have opened rats. I didn't look at any of my commons or uncommons. <laughs> what is this? Conqueror's Galleon? Dun, da, 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 dun, 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 I have never seen any cards from this set, I think. Whenever it attacks, exile it at the end of combat, then return it to the battlefield under your control. Oh, they're crew cards! I forgot! That's right. This looks way too much like the last level of Dancing Lines. It's very scary. No more crew cards, please. Spell Swindle. Counter target spell. Create X colorless treasure artifact tokens where X is that spell's converted mana cost. They have sacrifice this artifact one mana of any color. Okay. Captivating crew. Gain control. Oh, well, it's a creature, but... Gain control of target creature and opponent controls until end of turn. Untap that creature, it gains haste. Activate this ability. Okay, so it's like an endless act of treason, plus it's a creature. Interesting. Tomo? This is Tomo biting Ruka on his butt. And Ruka's face of complete betrayal. I mean, it seems good to give everybody double strike, but it might be a little expensive to play. Oh, now we're cooking. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on Primal Amulet. Then if there are four or more charge counters on it, you may remove those counters and transform it. When you transform it, it becomes... Oh! Yo, that seems great. Especially if we do roll blue-red. It becomes a double cast? That's also... Wait, what's the name of that... Uh... What's that magic card that is... It's an artifact, you play it once, and then it uh... can be any mana? Some sort of crystal? I can't remember. Chromatic Lantern! That's the one I'm... Uh, Manolith is probably the, the resinous version. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. If it's a non-land, you may cast it. Okay. Whenever you cast your third spell, you may transform it into a legendary land. That seems kind of interesting. Ashes of the Abhorrent. Players can't cast spells from... Okay, so it's a uh, life gain and also a sideboard card against Blue Resin. Blood Crazed Paladin. Yo, I mean, that seems like incredible upside. That being said... I'm not going to use it. <laughs> but it seems like a good card. Arguel's Bloodfast. Pay two life and draw a card. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have five or less life, you may transform it. Ooh, this again is interesting. Let's go. I'm with you, by the way. People are like, everybody makes fun of blue, but the real resin is white. I agree. Oh, we got another one. That's because... Uh, Blue is like, whenever something bad happens to you, you have to read a card to understand what the problem is. In, uh, in white, they have three mana, and they cast, like, two incredible creatures every single turn. And then you go, uh, I concede. Okay, give me one second here. Because, as this is a new account, I should be able to redeem a code. For a few more Ravnica packs. There you go. Yeah, that's the play Ravnica resin. Okay, another Midnight Reaper. Oh, 
Omni spell adept. Interesting. Light of the Legion. Well, these are our cards. We got nine mythics. 16 rares. It's not bad. That card is real good. All top eights use it. Do is it? Can anyone, and this is like the most resinous thing of all time. Can anyone hit me with a, a net deck MTGA is it deck? Like an Is It Drakes, for example. And I'm going to blow my nose. I apologize. That was really bad. I'm very sorry, wizards. <laughs> Alright. We'll construct this ASAP. Standard M MTGA decks. Is it... Advanced search. Please try your request again in a few seconds. Sorry, I searched for a deck so resinous. Even this website cannot handle my request. This one is top eight pro tour. That's right. You can only Kate can link. <laughs> Log in with username and password. Excuse me. I would just like to search. The day I make an account to use a search engine is the day I give up on a free internet. All right. Red, white, aggro. No. Boros aggro. No. Red, white, aggro. No. Red, white, aggro. No. 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 It's all red, white, aggro except for this. Yuya Watanabe, thank you for being the savior that our stream needs. Hold on, okay. Moving this stuff out of the way. Kate's going to make the same deck. All right. Thank you, Yuya. Dex. New deck. Name. Totally original Dragon Lords. Easy. Creatures. I have a feeling I'm going to have to buy more packs, unfortunately. Let's start with uh, Goblin Electromancer. We, we have one. We need four. Import? Hold on. How do you import? I've never done that before. Can't you just import it? You can just import it. Of course, I know you can import it, but just like for those of us who don't know, where is that button located? You go, uh, sure, sure. Uh, just let me, okay, dex, discard changes. Bottom, import. Does, it, oh, it imports out of your clip bar? Well, now you know what we might be playing on the NLSS today. What, uh, but what do you clip, if that makes sense? Like the link to the deck, or is there like a standard sort of file format? Oh, it needs to be an MTG Goldfish. All right, all right, all right. It needs to be TXT. MTG Goldfish Yuya Watanabe Is It Drakes? Is It Drakes by Yuya Watanabe. Now I am on the website. Export to Magic Arena. Copy this below. Import. Deck successfully imported. Okay, dude, that's... These guys know what's up.
Kate, did you know you could do this? It's an incredible feature. Unfortunately, there is a problem. Ah! <laughs> Opt. Add one, please. You gotta click on the number. Ah. This is amazing. Or just use the wild cards button on the bottom. You genius video game. Totally original not deck. Because it's not a net deck. Done. Cancel. Your sideboard is still illegal. Right. Okay. Done. All right, baby. I'm ready. Original pirate material. You're listening to the streets. Lock down your area. Well, there you go. I'm ready when you are ready, Kate. By the way, this is maybe the hardest meta deck to play. How do I import, though? Uh, you want the same deck? So go to this link. I'll give you the, the step-by-steps. You take this link. And then... On the bottom left, you will see a button that says Export to Magic Arena. When you click Export to Magic Arena, there will be a text box where you will hit Control A, Control C to copy it all to your clipboard. Then you go to Dex in Magic the Gathering Arena and you click Import. And then you, it will take it right from your clip bar. And then if you need to make anything else, you can click Use Wildcards in the Deck menu. Yeah, Kate's hitting me with the mirror match because she wants to prove she's the better player. Which she does not need to prove. All I'll tell you right now is I'm not using this pirate as our deck picture. That's just foolish. Instead, I mean Lava Coil looks pretty cool. Arclight Phoenix. I mean, that if you saw somebody show up with that deck box, you would be like, oh man, I'm about to play against. No, Opt is not illegal. You just need to, you probably don't have four copies of it. So you have to click this button that's like right here called Use Wild Cards. And then it will use your wild cards to make it. Oh, they're... genius. Absolutely true. Dude, Niv Mizzet looks cool, but uh, you know what? I'm wrong. Firemind's research does not look as cool as Niv Mizzet. That's also pretty decent. If somebody shows up with this disdainful stroke uh, deck box, just resign and go get dinner. Come back for the next round. If they have a deck with counter spells painted on it, it's time to just, you know, recognize where you're at in life. Ooh, look at that's beautiful. All right. All my strokes are disdainful. Please tell me you know how to play this deck. Ah, eh, how hard can it be? It's just it's blue red. challenge Kate if you want to send me a discord message with your direct challenge username I will uh, I will send you a challenge gunka 
We're going to do uh, more magic tomorrow before the NLSS as well. Uh, so we might do like uh, viewer challenges then. The idea is to dump your phoenixes and later on play three spells in a row to summon them from the graveyard. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. I got you. She called me an old man because I don't accept DMs on Discord. <laughs> I think it's because we're not friends on Discord. All right, I have selected my deck. I've sent you a challenge, Kate. It's up to you. Oh, she's in. It's up to you. Do you want to be in the Discord call, or do you want to rest your voice? My voice is feeling good. I am content. Oh, she said, do you want to join a voice call? Let's do it. Pop your, If you're interested, pop yourself into uh, stream one, please. She did say V call. Hello? Hello? Yo. Hey, how's it going, Kate? I'm okay. I was gonna, like, at first, I know you wanted to be on the stream, so I was gonna wake you up before I went live. But then I went into the bedroom and you were sleeping with, like, <laughs> the biggest smile on your face. Really? Yeah, and I was like, I'll just, I'll open packs for like half an hour to, to get the, the fodder for a deck. <laughs> That's funny. If I anybody's not it. aware, Kate is <laughs> ill because I got her ill, basically. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna look at your hand. I'll yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, I don't even know what I have in my hand, to be honest with you, but... So check this out. I think, chat, I don't want you to backseat me because it gives me an unfair advantage. I think you play this first, then you can play this, and you can just pay for that later. That sounds good to me. You know, there's a Planeswalker deck, the one that we played at the TwitchCon. Yeah. There's a code. So if you redeem it, you get the Planeswalker deck in the arena. Yeah. I have mine, but if you have, like, a free code. I forgot. You're right, this count. Kate, did you know that Steam Vents counts as an island and a mountain? Yo, that's not what I was talking about. I know. But <laughs> so we can do Planeswalker deck versus. Like the one that you got from uh, TwitchCon. Yeah, it's the the pre-constructed deck. The code for it, so. Oh, yeah. I see. Well, she did surveil to and then draw a card. What are you thinking? <laughs> Instead, you know what you do? Mmm, draw a card. Oh, baby. Just drawing a card is worse. But I get to keep my surveil for later, and radical idea can be jump started. Yeah, if you discard a card to discard it. Right. She's not wrong about that. I'm realizing now, this deck uh, doesn't just play creatures, and that scares me a little bit. Is it, yo? Yeah, but I'm used to the is it where it's like uh, when is you. It doesn't have much uh, creatures. I'm used to paying to one red and one blue to summon a creature that gets plus one plus zero when you cast an instant or a sorcery. There are cards like that. So maybe the the pro player was like, yeah, the thing sucks, so... Mint. 
you know, okay, uh, we're gonna yuck and yuck. I'm just learning the basics of this deck right now, Chad. Don't even sweat it. I've never, well, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this deck before in my life. I'm just trying to, I'm drawing a bunch so that I can see what cards are in it. Use Jumpstart to put Phoenix in the graveyard. Oh, that makes perfect sense. I'll be set if I lose. Oh my lord. As of right now, I don't know what the deck does. So I'm still, I'm Me freaking. Me neither, I just, I just made one at the same time as you. You're not wrong about that. All right. Well, uh, set, mm, tell me, uh, you know, I think this is the play right here. Oh, my. Oh, baby. If Drake mm. is in the name of the deck, then Drake is what I play. Hmm. I can't help but notice that you have a 3-2 creature. I have a 2-4 creature. Yeah. <laughs> I can change that. Uh. Pass turn. A 4-4 four, four creature. I think for a lesser player, that would be like a big problem. But for me, no, 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 no. No, no, Are you going to cast two shocks or something? Uh, that's not fair. Because I do not have any shocks in my hand. So I am going to play Discovery, Surveil 2, and draw a card. Oh, baby. Now that's the good stuff right there. I'm going to keep them. Oh, lordy, lordy. And then, I mean, you got to hit him with that yeet. Me. Bigger. Hmm. What? No. So they just, uh, yeah, there's more than one of those in this deck, huh? It's not just a one-off? What is one-off? You know, you only had, I thought maybe you only had one shock in there. Apparently that's not the case. No, no. Of course not. Standard. You could play a one-off in standard. I can't afford four yeah, Jaces. but usually they don't. <laughs> it's a, I gotta admit, is a pretty good play. It's alright. But... Is it as good? Chart, of course. I don't know what to discard. <clears throat> this might have been a terrible decision.
He's charting a course straight to the loser's bracket. Uh, pardon? <laughs> oh my god. Who said that? Oh lord. Some, uh, some comedian in chat. <laughs> Uh, all right. Past turn. It resolves. <laughs> what resolves what? <laughs> Your, my end step resolves? Is that correct? No big deal. Not a concern. Chat, you just don't understand the value of uh, of a card advantage. Like, sure, she's got twice as much life and nine damage on the field, but I have five times as many cards in my hand. It's true. You're not wrong about that. Well, I think you start here. I don't like that it gave you the option to decide to do something there. <laughs> oh well. And then... Oh, baby! An 8-4. Enigmatic yeah. Drake. How about this? A 9-4 Crackling Drake. That's madness. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about this one. Hey, well, I, uh, yeah, something. Well, nine four, huh? That's pretty impressive. I think, uh, I'll play this ye old steam vents. One, two, three, four. I will pay two life if you do not mind. And then I will summon another eight four. Does it resolve? I don't think Isa has anything that... Like, the uh, counter or something. Well... On my next turn... I'm gonna summon another Drake. We Drake him now? I mean, it is in the name of the deck, so... Hmm. <clears throat> Tiki. Now we got a game. No coils, please. I was wishing for a coil. Oh my god. Hmm. What a board. Do I attack? 
Or do I not? Okay. okay. Your Drake will get stronger if I attack. <clears throat> I would like to make a very skillful play and get a lava coil, please. Could I please have a lava coil? You had two. I would like a lava coil, please. This guy. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I have cast three instants or sorceries this turn. Not, not after the phoenix was in the graveyard. You only cast a two. Oh, it comes out at the start of combat. Apparently. Oh, you have phoenix before in your graveyard? Uh, I just got oh, one. Your phoenix... Yeah, but you just put the phoenix in the graveyard, and then you only cast a two. It comes out at the start of combat. Okay. I see. Now that you cast a three, that's why the phoenix is out. Yeah. Um... I'm holding back. Oh, wait, it's lethal anyway. Sorry. I forgot the Electromancer hmm. doesn't fly. No, but... you fool. Oh, no. <clears throat> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Still, in my head, I was like... And this is obviously wrong. But in my head, I was like... Uh... If I attack with everything, if somehow she can, like, <laughs> chump block, she could play a creature and then get maximized velocity to give it haste next turn, and then just kill me because I have no blockers, so. Well... <laughs> I'm actually afraid. Uh, uh, uh comment. Yeah, I have to block. Just wishing for a lava coil. <laughs> Does lava coil do it to any target? No, I'm done. GG. You got good game, Ooh, Kate. Lava coils at me. I did draw the lava coils. I mean, I I top decked lava coil like perfectly. It was a very skillful top deck. The gold color changed, huh? Or is it? Yeah, it's more yellowy now. Before uh, it was like the more orange. The currency gold. Yeah. Mm. It was like, um. Mythic rare color. There isn't a way to do competitive play with friends, I don't think. I think it's just... Just one-off. Yeah, as of right now, I think it has to be... Uh, like, you both just... Uh, you basically take a gentleman's honor code. And you're like, we're gonna use these styles of decks. Well, not just that. Like, competitive play as, like, best out of three. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know what we they could do? That. What we could do is do uh we could do a makeshift sealed. Wait, no, that would be tough. 
I was like, we could just get six packs and then construct decks out of them, but how are we going to keep them separated in our collection? We'd have to keep, like, no. manual... Manual I don't have many more decks. You, like you, oh. you, you challenge me, you hit me up with whatever you got. I'm ready to go. Oh, she's Jace. I'm always Jace. <laughs> I'm always Jace. <laughs> you just noticed I'm Jace? Kate the Mind Sculptor. <clears throat> oh, I mean, uh, he's a little dicey, but uh, keep. Are you playing with the same deck? I am going to be using the same deck for the rest of the stream for sure. It is it is top six or top eight. Top eight. It it did it went. Uh, it it was literally like seven. Uh, red white aggro, and then one. Is it Drake's? You know, I think I will. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think that's that seems just fine. What on earth is this? Adanto Vanguard. As yeah. long as Adanto Vanguard is attacking, it gets plus two, plus zero. Pay for life, and it gets indestructible. Until the end of the turn. Well... That does seem interesting. <laughs> no, I do not think it's useless. I think it I think it owns. <laughs> Four life to like kill a creature basically and keep yours alive? That's pretty sick. Unfortunately I don't have the resin cards needed to kill it right now, so it's for uh you said I don't think it has permanent um Minus stats, I think it's just deal X damage, and I can just make it indestructible. Alright, I think I understand how this deck is supposed to work now. You know, I used to play- what was that cool deck? It was a blue-black in the standard just before Kaladesh rotated in. And it was all about sacking your creatures to like some kind of weird locust that got plus two, plus two with every creature you sacked. No, Kate. <laughs> You're gonna shock I my Electromancer? I said softer day. Come on. <laughs> Hmm. The Thopter deck? Is it the Thopter deck? No, it's not the Thopter deck. I'm trying. It used it used a Liliana from Magic Origins. Yeah, dude, that was UB Aristocrats. That was a fun deck. But I had Liliana. You didn't have Liliana. I had a deck that also had four Lilianas. I think we bought, we probably bought like 15 Lilianas that set. It was, no. it was disgusting. I think that the Liliana that I played was Origin. And then yours wasn't in Origin. <laughs> I actually... So rather than ask the question of whether you could activate that skill at any time, I was just like, let's do it. <laughs> huh. 
What? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning of combat, choose up to one target creature you control. Until the end of turn, that creature gets plus two, plus zero, gains trample. Well, it gains vigilance. Oh, my God. That's terrible. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, I, I'm not going to sack my Enigma Drake for four life, but this is a bomber, dude. Uh, so we'll do this and then this. Opt. I think I don't want you know what I probably do? Because you're playing all the pirate. Oh, I forgot One Piece is a pirate anime. Doesn't that anime have, like, a thousand episodes? Not thousand, but high hundreds. Good lord. Mm -hmm. It's like anime Isaac. He's like you. He likes like to work. Like, the dude doesn't stop working. Yeah. And people within the manga cars, they're like, how does he do it? Why does he not stop <laughs> working? Well, I I really have to think here, because your stupid uh, Vanguard is a 5 1. So, 1 1. No, uh, well, yeah, but not really. So I'm pretty sure it's, it's, a, one one to me. it's a 5 1, which means <laughs> you could very easily have lethal next turn. So I think I'm not going to attack with anything, but I do hate it. Mm. Scared of a 1-1 one, one lull. Look, it's not like that, okay? You don't understand. Oh, you remind me, after this game, I'll install Deckmaster. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh. You, I thought you wouldn't have any lava coils because it's not, uh, it's not my deck. <laughs> All right. What on earth is this? It's an angel. So many red cards. It's white. <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I mean. <laughs> At the beginning of each end step, if you gain five or more life this turn, create a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. It gets plus two, plus two in lifelink. Oh, fantastic. That's, that's wonderful news. Um, well, the first thing we will do... You had a dream that Snoop Dogg was in my dream, <laughs> and we had <laughs> we had like a musical with Snoop. Dogg. That's pretty cool. Well, me and me and Snoop Dogg had a musical. Maybe that's why I was smiling while I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to Snoop Dogg. I don't own Snoop Dogg's albums or anything like that. But I don't know how. Out of nowhere, Snoop Dogg showed up in my dream, and we just had a musical. I mean, he seems like, <laughs> he seems like a cool guy. It was like we were eating food, and then <sighs> we started to have a musical about our food. Uh, that's hilarious. This is going to freak you out, mostly due to my stupid level of pop culture knowledge, Kate, but Snoop Dogg was in uh, an ad for Lean Cuisine. 
You know who he was in the ad with? No, oh, me. Kate Upton. Whoa. Whoa, freaky, right? <laughs> Dude. How do you know that? Uh, it's my job to be online at all times. It's your job to be cultured? Exactly. Hmm. Hmm. Look, I'll turn sub only chat off when pleb chat learns to behave just a little bit more. I don't mind the backseating. It's just that we hit a level where people were like, you're dumb. And I was like, if I'm so dumb, how come you're the ones that can't talk right now? Oh. So once people go, hey, the best move would be to do this, just so you know, I want you to get better. That's totally fine. It's just when people yeah, look go. Stray cat. What? That's not Tomo. That's a. That's. Tomo. That's yet another mythic rare. <laughs> it's Tomo. Whenever it dies, create a zero one red elemental creature token. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice this creature, return target, card name rekindling phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay, so, uh, good to know. You're, you have a creature out there that's immortal. It cannot die. It can die. It's pretty weak against the uh, green black. You know, GG. Good game. Do you I... want to see another mythic one? Please. I'd lo I love the animations. Yeah. Here, I'll show you. Look at that. Lyra Dawnbringer. Wow. Flying first strike <laughs> lifelink. Plus it gets vigilance from Aurelia. Wow. Well, yeah. What's beautiful about this is that it looks like the game was close, but I think you just hit yourself for four, three I times, did. and I might have hit I you did. for two damage total at one point. No, the two points I did was the pain land. Oh, that's right. So I just hit myself. She was in control time. like 100% here. All right, I'm going to try to add Deckmaster really quick. I can... Why don't you add, if you can, the other Planeswalker deck? So we can Planeswalker, Planeswalker. Oh, I don't have a code for it. Oh... Because we only Ask wizard. we only bought one planeswalker deck, you know. Chat, do you have planeswalker deck? I would wow. never ask chat to, especially on a sponsored stream. Apparently, I cannot mute Discord. I want to blow my nose. One moment. I'm also installing a Northern Lion Live Super Show game for later today. Thank you, my friend. While I'm doing this, let me say uh, big ups again to Wizards for sponsoring the stream. This is a sponsored show. Thanks, Wizard. It's designed to Thank show you. off the direct challenge feature in Magic the Gathering Arena. It works really well so far. My wife and I are one in one. Everything in balance, as all things should be. Thank you again, Wizards. Why don't we play the normal decks that they give you? They're pretty good. I only have the very starting one unlocked. Yeah, they're fine. No, I'll I mean like... the ones that they give you too. I mean like the ones that you unlock before you oh, do... Oh, the monocolors? Yeah. You don't have... You don't have double? Correct. Mmm... We can do mono. The game nights, the new item that Wizard of the Coast put out. It's uh, it's called Game Night, mm. and they're all mono color, like mono black, mono green, mono red, mono blue, mono white, and it's just five. So it's like one v one v one v one v one v. Well, I have a, I have challenged you with a mono deck, Kate. Okay, which color? I'm not gonna tell. I'm, I'm not gonna it. tell you which color. No, we cannot overlap. Well, don't pick the color I pick then. Yeah, I know which color is it. I here's the thing. I picked a color I don't normally play. 
So let's see how well you know me. All right. We'll see. <laughs> Because Ryan plays blue. <laughs> so I didn't install Deckmaster because I have to go to GitHub and actually install the files. I will do it before tomorrow afternoon stream. Oh, I see. I have not played this uh, monocolor decks before, so... And then we can also later make um, battle decks. Yeah, well. that would be cool. Because battle decks are supposedly fun and balanced between battle decks to battle decks. We can make limited Excuse decks me. too, like... What is this? This is a silver beak griffin. It's a 2-2 two -two flyer for two. I don't like that card. Well, I don't like your card. Look at it, it's like an Annihilation Horse. Hey! <laughs> I only have two legs. <laughs> Mana Trot. No, the creature's not worth it, honestly. <laughs> it's out again. <laughs> 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 it is nice to like, not have to worry about the lands you get. Just like yeah, it's mono. Yeah, that's why I love mono red. I don't like any mono. Does mono red exist in this uh, in this standard? Yes, yes, in the standard. Yeah, no. like it's not. There's no competitive mono red. No. Lame. I mean, competitive. No. Fun, yes. Hmm. 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 All right, I'm gonna free the plebs. I'm over it. Are you over it? Don't you dare tap target <laughs> creature. Uh, I mean, this is that's pretty good, but like, I mean, that's like, it's decent. I wish not every creature in this deck cost eighty mana to cast, but I guess it is what it is. So check this out, Kate. You think you're so good? Well, then stop me from destroying target tapped creature. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you, you... Could have killed your griffin. It's tapped. Well, yeah, <laughs> I don't think mono white <laughs> default deck is any way to bring this boy back from the dead. So Is this the story target tapped mm. creature? And then you know use. what? Here is this check this out. Look familiar? Can't attack or block. Don't worry though. It can still get plus 1 plus 0 as long as you control an artifact. Hmm. What's wrong with this blue deck? It doesn't have. It has only like enchantments and creatures. It doesn't have like counters and stuff. Oh, windmill slam! Sarah Angel! Oh my gosh. That's the Sarah Angel. You better be careful, Kate, or I could give Sarah Angel flying. It is flying. I know. But can it fly over my water knot? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> mm, windmill slam spiritual guardian. She's in the... What is this? <laughs> Mm. 
three four. It is a three four. Why do you ask? Does water not not work on uh, <laughs> three power creatures? But gilded sentinel. Dude, what kind of blue deck? What what were they thinking when they were making this blue deck? It's definitely not playing like a blue deck. I have like all creatures in my hand, only creatures. <laughs> Oh. How do you like them apples? Daybreak champion. Daybreak chaplain, actually, is what I meant to say there. <laughs> it's not a champion at all. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. What is this? Did she draw the, the one rare in each one of these decks? <laughs> what? Is it an essay card? Oh, After this turn, this. take another turn. Saheed Jinn of the Lamp! He's the gin of the lamp. Once again, you know that song, Return of the Mac? Rub me the right way. That's Genie in a Bottle, another classic song. Yeah. You may pay three and one and tap an untapped artifact you control rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Oh, well, a little rude. You gotta rub me the right way. Kate? Yes. That's what the, the song. It is what they say in the song. Excuse me, that's not nice. Angelic not. reward. Oh, does he have a combat tricks? I gained four life off of it, no matter what, so. Damn it, I would have blocked if you said that. <laughs> Chad's like, the bluff is not a bluff. I just, half the time, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I, I make the second most optimal play, and it freaks people out. What on earth is Where's this? Where's my water knots? There's probably only yeah. two of them in the deck, right? I don't know. I never play monocolor things. No! That's not very nice. You know what, what's annoying is that it looks like my deck, like my board is better, but it's just because I got all these water knotted creatures I can't get rid of. But your deck, your your side is, is better. Oh, Merry Christmas. Look at that. We eat that in Iceland. We, we did eat that in Iceland. Steak. I didn't know it was a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> I guess we must be 10-10. To hunt it down and eat it. Why oh, didn't yeah. you attack? Well, because last time I did and it was a... You, you now know about my bluff. Yeah, but then it flies. I don't have any flying. Have you ever heard the expression, do not fear the experienced swordsman, fear the amateur? You know, if somebody does the optimal play in Magic, you can predict what they're going to do. If somebody is zany, there's no chance. What are you going to do? Oh, thank you for not destroying my prodigy. Because of that, my guardians are 5-5. Five, five. You know what, Kate? Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that's how this deck worked, okay? But I'm learning a lot. What deck? My deck? Your deck? Hold on. Whose deck? Uh, hold on. I'm focusing. She could do a lot of damage <laughs> next turn. You only have two cards. Yo, but if I attack, I can tap one of your creatures. 
So it changes things ever so slightly, but you'll just block it anyway. Tomo. I should have not told you that it was flying. Guess what? I got oh, another no. Sarah Angel. My mom bought me a fat pack. I got duplicate on commons. This blue deck sucks balls. It only has... Hmm. I mean, it did have Zahid, Jin of the bottle. Yeah, but the, what kind of blue deck has only the creatures and no spells? <laughs> it resolves. Oh, okay. Sweet. Air elemental. <laughs> All right. So at least something like uh. Yep. And yolk and uh. So okay. Yolk. Oh, I don't know. But then, GG. GG. I didn't know the elf did that. Yeah, I mean, it was, we're like exactly even, except the elf could tap you. Dang. White, white mono deck is victorious today. Man, those decks are kind of terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it is fun to have a deck that's so simple, though. It's just like, you know. Play the card but in your hand. How, what were they thinking when they saw the blue deck and would be like, yeah, let's not put any spells in and just only the creatures. I hit you with another mono, Kate. Another mono. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like he's gonna play. Yeah. Mono what do you? Red. So I'm gonna go mono black. All right, Kate. Guess what? What? It's the mirror match. Oh no! I told <laughs> you. There's one dude in chat who has me pegged 100. percent He was like, "This time he's gonna go black." He's right. Kate, did you draw He's a yargle? About mono red. Did you draw a yargle, Glutton of Urborg? No. Well, I will keep them. I drew murder. He's a legendary frog spirit. I also drew murder. <laughs> this is a true test of skill. The swamp. All attack. The swamp. Oh, what an interesting card, Kate. Do you have it too? Card so interesting, I think. <laughs> I might just do exactly the same thing. Sure. The sapling. It's a fungus creature? He looks like he's wearing a sick vest. Hmm. Excuse me. My mute button doesn't work on Discord. The short key. The shortcut key. But That's I can fair. click it and blow my nose. I think, like, don't take this the wrong way, but I think if, like, a girl sneezes on stream, people are like, That's cute. And when a guy sees, sneezes on stream, people go like, That's gross! Why don't you learn how to mute your microphone? 
Maybe, maybe because when you sneeze, you go ah. I can't help it. But then you know when I sneeze, I go at you. <laughs> Austin, stop trying to fight for artifact to be on the docket, especially while I'm playing the superior collectible card game, Magic the Gathering. This is a tough turn. Dude, did you see the Vancouver Overwatch team? Yeah. Did you see the intro? Uh, I did see the intro. The Titan? Or, or what was it? I saw the announcement video, at least. I watched the... The video. Are they actually... Do you think they're gonna play at Rogers Arena? Because it seems like... I mean, oh. that's where they did the international. But, like... I don't think they're going to fill up a 20,000 seat stadium for professional Overwatch. Or do they play all their games in LA? I can't remember. I have no idea. I just saw like the the, um, the video was like dun 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 dun. dun. Yeah. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. It was just keep It was keep getting just more intense. It just did not stop. Da -da 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 -da. It's the Terminator da -da 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 -da. song. I'm not going to the Vancouver GP, but Kate is going to the Vancouver GP. That's right. When did uh when does Eternal Masters come out or whatever this set's called? Uh seventh. Oh, so like Thursday or Friday. What? What is mana? I would like to draw one. Yo, this is... Kate, I didn't realize, but Death Baron is that card that we got for getting the Planeswalker deck at TwitchCon. Oh, the... At the... Pex West? I mean, the Twitch... Yeah, Twitch card? it's like the... It's the box topper. Mm. Dude, when I blow my nose now, it's like bloody. No, oh, that's really bad. But not like bloody... From like... Like, it's the, the snot is bloody. Mm. It's like infected snot. I mean, that's terrible news. You know, it's, uh... Apparently, it's, uh... Every six months, my husband infects me. <laughs> sure. July, and then December. Well, you know, if you think it's bad for you... How do you think you feel if you're me? And I got sick in like July, September, November, and December. Oh, finally I draw mana. Hmm. Now that I got that multivitamin lifestyle going, nothing to worry about. <laughs> Four mana is not good enough. I would like to resummon Yargle, the glutton of Urborg. What the fuck? That's Death Touch. I mean, he's 10 4, so he's pretty much got Death Touch no matter what. <laughs> You know, it has death touch. I know, but like, you know, someone would have to be, they'd have to have 11 toughness to not be killed by him, even if he didn't have it. Hey, man. Oh, okay. Fair enough. The thing is, he's a legendary frog spirit. We'll have enough mana to cast a walking dead zombie. From the Walking Dead TV show series, uh... The Walking Corpse, yeah, that's, uh... That's just like a default zombie, huh? Damn. I wonder... Will I survive? I survived! Chat, is the Infinity War Part 2 trailer still coming out today? 
I want to know what's going on with my favorite Marvel superheroes, including Spider-Man, Tachanka, And, you know, Tachanka. all the other ones. Tachanka. Yeah, that's the joke. You got it. <laughs> uh, hold on. Open the graves. Whenever a non-token creature you control that. Okay, okay, I understand. Do you understand? I understand. Man, real life. No. Oh wait, what did? <laughs> this is not my finest moment, to be honest. <laughs> No! It's Yargle, the glutton of Urborg. Oh no. Mana screwed again! In my hand, I have 7 mana cards, 6 mana cards, 5 mana cards, and I'm just like, in real life magic, who plays? 7 mana cards. All right, Man. Let's, let's use, you can use one of your real decks. I'll, I'll use my, is it one, because this is probably going to be the last one for today. Hmm, but then my real deck is the only one that we played. That's fine. Or with angels. You, don't you have like a Golgari mid-range or something? No. Well. Oh. I was thinking about making Golgari. Hopefully you won't draw Aurelia. Or that terrible 1-1 one -one that's actually no, a 3-1. my deck is only... All about them. They only has them. So, unless I don't draw cards, I will draw them. I agree. What a hand. What a hand, what a hand, what a hand. Oh, I like that. What a hand, what a hand, what a hand, what a mighty good hand. <laughs> Don't mulligan hand, yeah. <laughs> I don't know any other lyrics in that song. What a good hand. What a hand, what a hand, what a hand, what a, what a good hand. I'm saying it again now. I mean, you gotta do something like it. I mean, you just, you gotta play this. I think. Okay. Come on. It resolves. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tease me. What? <laughs> I, I hate it that I, it has to enter the battlefield. First. Yeah, that's true. I paid two mana to get one mana off of one of my attacks. <laughs> Incredible. True. Um, well, actually, this is a weird turn, believe it or not. I think that you probably would want to do this, but I gotta think about it, because, like, I guess we could. That, and then... But the... See, I'm just trying to let you know, chat. This thing... I can't cast this. It doesn't have a target. So I think I gotta play this this turn. I gotta play this. Oh. Yikes. Well. It's your favorite girl. No. Aurelia, the exemplar of justice. You know she's good because she has an animation. All the mythic has animation. I know. Okay, so it's something like I gotta oh, think I about know. the way that you do this. It's something like, uh, okay, I think you'd probably do it like, uh, ooh, but if I, oh, it's a touchy one. Touchy <clears throat> You know that song? That's uh, Numa Numa.
Discovery. What happened to the Discovery channels? Uh, it's still on. Yeah, but it's no longer fun. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It might still be fun. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you want to tap that as, to be honest with you. Tap that is. Yo, my, my, my husband uses the manual tap. He has evolved. I, well, I just wanted to make sure it didn't screw me on this one. I was scared. Oh my gosh. Wait, you had two phoenixes? <laughs> oh my god. I did get I I had two phoenixes in my starting hand. Oh my god. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Hmm. How are the recent Slay the Spires looking? Yo, I learned how to play the defect. Don't get it twisted. You know? Sweet. Sweet. Yay. She said sweet, but... Is it really sweet? Yeah, because Tomo shows up. Let me, I gotta look at this guy. When he dies, create a 0-1 red elemental creature token that's from your graveyard. Okay, but like, okay, here's the thing. First off, give me two life, please. I, I'm gonna use a coil of lava to exile this Tomo? No. Why would you do that? <laughs> like, I prefer. I mean, I know. It's just. Okay, maybe, yeah. No. No, stop it! Oh my god, I Yo, can't believe it. It turns out when you get the like a, an incredible draw, this deck actually bangs. <laughs> no wonder it made the top eight. That's brings back like six six four of flying every single turn. That's incredible. Dang son, the Phoenix. It turns out the tier one deck is tier one. Uh do you wanna do one more? Okay. Let's do one more. I'm going to play the same deck because it's the only competitive deck I have. All right. Same. Look at that. Chad is really impressed. Sorry, I had the alt tab to play on the docket as well. Ooh, I don't know about this one, though. It's okay. You saw the numbers. You can challenge me or challenge my wife if you want. The only thing is, you're never gonna... You're just gonna be sitting at the queue forever unless we challenge you back. <laughs> it's really... It's up to you. Um, I think that I would do this. Ah! You feel my numbers? Ah! This is way worse. <laughs> In hindsight, I should not have mulliganed, Kate. You know, that's the life. Life of magic. Definitely should have kept with that first hand. That's just life. 
Yep. One, three. Creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger? Yeah. It's a little rude, honestly. Well, it's me and you. For both. I know. That's that's why it's rude. Because so many of my creatures do cool things. I know. Whatever. You know what? Hit me with that draw, Dad. You've seen this one? Oh my... History of Ben Alia. It's a fun history class. Now a sideboard in like enchantment removal or something. Well, there are four of them, so I hope you sideboard <laughs> four. <laughs> Austin, a saga is a card that... It's in portrait, and it, it's basically like four cards in one. And it sucks, and I hate it. Pretty much, I lose immediately. That, not because, like, I'm not being salty, but I just am low on land. It makes things a little bit problematic. Oh, well, you know, that was me, like, for the last three games, so <laughs> welcome to my world. Yeah, I feel you. Mm. Did you miss this guy? It's not Aurelia, is it? Oh, it's gonna be the 1-1 one, one. that's actually an indestructible 3-1. <laughs> well, well, well. How the turns table. <laughs> Wait, did you say that right? That's the... Uh, how the tables that's, turn that's instead the of joke, how the though. turn table. <laughs> that's the joke, though. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, we have to, like... Oh, I meant to use one of the freaking jump-started ones so that I could get this, this trash out of my hand. All right, well, you know what, Kate? Best of luck to you. Good luck. Guess what? Oh, no, it's a shock. <laughs> Two shocks or something. No, no. Oh, it's another history of Ben <laughs> Affleck. The airport of Ben Gurion. Well, I, the good news is I got more cards that allow me to draw cards. So, Kate, just you wait, okay? This is how you play this deck right here. You get rid of that card, then you draw a land, please. Oh. Okay. That was not a land. <laughs> then you play Maximize Velocity and you say, hey, maybe you'd like some haste. <laughs> and then you hope that there is a bug in the game and you can get your Arclight Phoenix out there and that's the end. Dude, I got mana screwed again. I only have three. She only has three mana and she beat me 20 to negative six. <laughs> I got mana screwed the whole games that we played together. I got a handful of cards I can't play. Alright, well, I mean, that was a six-minute game, so that seems appropriate. Um, you want to you wanna take some time to talk about what you're going to be playing after the show, Kate? Um, yeah, I don't know. Should I stream afterwards? Should I not stream? It's really up to you. It's up to how you're feeling up to it. Hmm, I could play some casual games. I will try to play some Let's Go Pokemon. Yo, maybe. let's go. It's been it's been too long. I know many people wanted me to play the Pokemon game. And then I was too busy and got distracted with other games, so Plus your husband got you sick. That's true. That as well. You know you said, you know, oh, I'm keep bringing that up, but it's you who's keep bringing that up. It's true. You're doing that to yourself. It's You're not wrong. I just got distracted because <laughs> somebody in chat said NL keeps beating his white weenie. What the heck? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a Magic the Gathering deck archetype, the white weenie. 
<laughs> oh my god. I will let you first off, let me say thank you, Kay, for being here. And also thank you to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this uh stream. I will be live as well early tomorrow, same time, noon Pacific time, to play a little bit more direct challenge Magic the Gathering. Uh it's up to you, Kate, if you would like to play more matches. That's cool. Yeah, if can. you want to sleep in, I could uh, finally get some revenge on chat for all their backseating. But I am cool but what with... what if they beat you hard? No, n not possible. I'm going to Ken Jennings them. Did you see the tweet, Ryan? What tweet? It's the Tomo Never Dies. 007, Tomo never dies. Uh, I oh my god, <laughs> it's beautiful. That's a that's the picture of Tomo when he was in the bathroom right after he got shaved. His his eyes. It's the, it's the weird belly, like yeah, the belly. His face is so cute. <laughs> is it cute? There you go. Here's the link chat. Tomo. Anyways, thanks for having me. No, thanks for being here. We had a pretty good balance. Yeah, I think I, most of I think I won one or two more than you because of land screwing, yeah. and I really appreciate uh, you helping me out there. Uh, but I will, <laughs> I will see you on your stream later tonight to say let's go and chat a couple times. Oh, sweet! Thank you. All right, later. Goodbye. So, we are going to be live in five minutes for the Northern Lion Live Super Show. Um, one moment. There will be a code names tonight, but I'm trying to think of what we got. So, we're going to do, yeah, and uh, here. The docket. As of no, there's no carts today, but I we could do carts in the future. Uh, the switch is in Kate's office right now, which is the uh, that's the limiting reagent. But in the future, I could just port it over to this office or even just get another one to be honest. But uh, carts they're saying carts Mario carts of the Mario variety. Um, but we're gonna be playing. Overkill Mech Assault Battlegrounds? What is this game called? Override? Oh my god, it didn't install. That's okay. This is why we've got 300 megabit download. Steam. Override. Override Mech City Brawl. No gears, no glory. Control gigantic robots. And duke it out in this 3D mech brawler. Epic battles await in local and online versus mode. Four-player co-op where each player controls one part of a mech. And a single-player game. Aware. Each mech has its own gameplay style, special moves, and finishers. So we'll be playing that first. Then in our section Midel, NBA 2K Playgrounds. Finally, the names that are coded. I'm going to take three minutes and I'm going to uh, get some water. And then I will I will see you guys for the uh, the start of the show. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in a second. 